Hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog. We are here in Orlando, Florida uh, as Brits on holiday, tourists, and we are here jumping in on the big hike with Fat Burger, which has just opened here in celebration. Not far from Kissimmee, Disney World, uh, Orlando is about 30 minutes from here, Universal Resort. So we've come to try it. There's massive hype around it. They're meant to be unbelievable burgers. They've got a gluten-free option for Laura. They've got a gluten-free option, they've got vegan options, they've got um, low-calorie options. So we're going to be going in and giving it a full try in this little vlog. Let's see if the rave about fat burgers is, you know, true. Is it really that good of a burger? Yeah. It is quite fast food based. You've got to drive through there as well. So you can drive through and get one of these if you want to. Loads of people have commented on our Florida vlogs and said, you've got to get down and try fat burgers. It's meant to be phenomenal. So we're here to try it. It's got a lot of history, Fat Burgers, it opened in, I think it was... Established in 1947 wow. by an African woman, yeah. African so it used to be American. called Mr. Mr. Fat Burgers. Until he split up, as she took the Mr. out of it and kept it Fat Burgers. There you go, and you might have actually heard the name Fat Burgers sang in a couple of famous songs, there's only two packs sang Tupac, in one. Ice, Notorious B.I.G. sang about it, everything like that. Really interesting, because it's been going for such a long time, and the first car Fast Burger Court was actually um, put in a poorer community, so they put in the poorer ah. communities. Well, there you go. It's got a lot of history. A lot of people, a lot of the residents of Orlando and Florida and that rave about it because it is, I think it's more normally based up north. So we're going to head in and give it a try. We'll give it a full review. Let's see if as Brits or Europeans, for you Americans, really think this Fat Burgers is just better than everywhere else. We've had a lot of burgers this trip. Uh, over here, we've been here for two weeks, so we'll see if this really does beat every other burger. So this is on the new development here in Celebration. Uh, you've got a lot of new restaurants and shops going up. Slim Chickens is just down there as well, which is quite funny. You've got Fat Burgers and Slim Chickens. But you've got loads of these units are going to be all filled up. Nice easy parking outside. You've even got the nice uh, new Publix just behind. Right, let's head on in then and get ourselves a burger. I've got to say, the smell coming out of that door does smell really good. This is open Monday to Sunday, 10 a.m. to 12 a.m., so long opening hours. Right, ooh, straight away we're hit with some cookies. Right, okay. That's exactly what we've got going on then, menu-wise. I like this, this is quite a nice little entrance. Right, okay, so we've got uh, all kinds of different milkshakes. We've got the fat burger. The original fat burger, the double fat burger, and the triple fat burger. Wow, that one is uh, $15.99, or you can get it as a meal for $19.99. You've got different crispy sandwiches, they look nice. You've even got a grilled chicken sandwich, the impossible burger. And this is what I liked as well when I looked on the menu. You've got fat fries as well as skinny fries. So, fat fries for us Brits, uh, us English, they would be like chips, or they would be like British chips. So let's, let's get an order in there. Let's get ourselves some burgers. And we're gonna get some cookies as well. We're gonna get a pack of cookies. Let's see what we think of these. Okay, so the food is ordered. I did get a uh, one of the, just a little refill cup. So you can have Pepsi, Mountain Dew. You've got a caffeine-free starry lemonade. That looks interesting. I've gone for a Dr. Pepper though. And then you've also got like a proper fresh lemonade. Ooh, look, you get little mints as well. Crafty Badger Burger, you can have some mints. That's quite nice. Oh, this is interesting. The, uh, the lady was excited to hear our British accents, which is interesting. And you've got different little bits of artwork on the wall, all fat burger. Uh, merchandise going on right let's take a seat then so we've been given a number where the food will come out to laura's gone for the gluten-free bun i've also got some of the cookies in here which we'll show you in a little uh, little minute once i've had my burger but it's nice and clean and simple in here the air con's nice as well clean simple easy here you go the fat burgers drink since 1952 so yeah, it's got a lot of history. Everyone is raving about it. Everyone was desperate for us to come and try it. So it had to be done. Had to be done. So in the meantime, while we wait for our burgers to come out, do let me know if you've tried fat burgers before. Now my other big question for you all is, especially if you watch the Florida vlogs, 
where is your favorite place to get a burger in Orlando or Kissimmee or anywhere around there, Disney World, where is your favorite place for a burger? Tough one for me, I can't really, probably one of my favorite burgers would actually be in the parks. I do like the park burgers, so does Laura. You like the gluten-free burgers in the parks. But if you've got a particular one that you love, let me know. Some people love the burgers in Chili's restaurants as well. Uh, so do let me know where is the best place to get a burger before you've tried here, because this could be the best place. Everyone is on about this place. We've come at three o'clock, so it's a little bit quieter. It's sort of in between lunch and dinner. But as we drove past the other day, there's a queue out the door in here. So I am really excited to see just how good these burgers are. They're getting cooked fresh. And I like that you can have it as a drive through as well for convenience. Yeah. Get one, take it back to your villa or your hotel or your apartment or whatever. And I'm quite excited also. We love celebration. If you've watched our vlogs before, we love celebration. I'm excited to see how this develops with what other restaurants and shops they get in this area, this little new section of shops and stuff. I'm excited to see Slim Chickens. Never tried a Slim Chickens. That's meant to be really good as well. So I'm super excited. The uh, Dr. Pepper's nice. Yes. Full sugar Dr. Pepper, yes. so it should be, but it's nice. Oh, there you go, there she is. Lower Yancey. So yeah, if you've got one of these in your state as well, do you rave about it? If you've got one in your home state, Fat Burger. Now I had to come and try, everyone was just so on about it, I had to come and try it and see exactly what it was like. But uh, they've got to say the staff were lovely as well, commented on our accents, which was funny, but really friendly, really helpful as well. Yeah, it's hard I'm to not... get friendly staff nowadays, isn't it? Yeah, no, it made a difference, nice and happy and smiling. I'm going to grab a menu, just to explain exactly what, how the menu works as well. So here is a full detailed look at the menu then. So you've got all your original fat burgers on the left. I've gone for a double one, which comes as a meal, $15.99, which comes with a drink and the fat fries. You've got different sides there as well. Now what you can do is just show exactly, literally just point at what you want, what you don't want on it. So if you want to change anything, it clearly shows it all what's in it. And I just picked out what I didn't want inside it or what I did or didn't want, which was fantastic. And then you can add these, so I've added bacon to mine. These are the different buns available. You can have white, wheat or gluten free. The different milkshakes, Oreo and uh, cookies, ice cream sounds quite nice. You've got a banana one there as well. And then different lemon and iced teas. I've gone for a pack of these, which I've got right there. The three cookies, the impossible burger. And I don't know what that was like. I think that's going to be massive, I imagine. Ah, okay. Ah, right. Okay, so that's the vegan burger then. That was well cleared up. Vegan burger there, grilled chicken sandwich, or you can have a crispy chicken there. And I've also got a turkey burger. So nice and simple, laid out really easy as well. I like that. Laid out dead simple, tells you what's in it. If you want to add them on, you can. If you want to take any of that off, you can. Dead simple and easy. Go then everyone, it's arrived. Literally takes five minutes. Here we go, here's a look at mine then. The burger looks amazing. I've gone for mine plain. So I've gone for cheese and bacon in there and a double burger. And there's the fat fries, so they're like English chips. So if any of you Americans want to see what English chips are like, these are them. Now there's Laura's gluten-free. Can you open that up, Laura? Let's just see what's on your gluten-free burger there. The bun looks lovely. The burger looks amazing as well. And again, we've gone for the fat fries, which are like chips. Yeah, on top of that, we've got Laura's fat burger. This is a chocolate shape with whipped cream. Oh, nice. Is it nice? Tastes good? So we'll see how these burgers are. They do look very nicely presented. Very fresh, piping hot, piping hot. There you go, look at that. And the burger does look a bit different, doesn't it? Looks like it's just gonna look at the steam coming off that. It is piping hot, everyone, piping hot. Well, let me tell you about a couple of bites. I'm gonna have another one. Uh oh. Mm. Really good. The meat just falls apart. Falls it looks apart. like it would, yeah. It's got like a slight, slightly smoky taste to the burger, but it just falls apart, the mince. And it, I love that it's piping hot, it's still steaming. Absolutely steaming hot. I love that. It makes a huge difference it being piping hot for me. It's nice. 
all the cheese is just all gooey in between. Oh, that's what you like, isn't it? Now, in terms of, I'm going to call these chips because these are chips. These are like English chips. These. Again, they're piping hot, but really good. Just very lightly salted. Just like UK chips, then. Yeah. Mm. Laura, you've just had your first bite. Tell us, tell us what you're thinking. Look at that. Oh my God, that's nice, isn't it? Is the meat stunning. is stunning, isn't it? Yeah, and it all just falls apart in your mouth. The chewy bits, there's no fatty bits so far. Like I said, oh, I don't know, nice. all the meat, it just, you can tell it's been smashed up. It just all just that's melts nice. in your mouth, doesn't that it? That is nice, yeah. I made it with And the gluten-free bun, what do you think? It's the Udis buns, what most people use out here, and it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so it's pretty standard gluten-free bun. But it's still an amazing bun, yeah. And the salad looks all fresh in it as well. It is, yeah. It's, you know, so it's nice. the meat that makes it, isn't it? Yeah, so I can I can see why people are raving so far. We'll carry on. We're gonna try the cookies as well, but I can see why people are raving. Yeah. Well, I absolutely woofed that. That was lovely, a really nice change. Now, if you are American, Canadian, you've never tried English chips before, get those because they are pretty close to English chips. Especially for over here, they were a nice change, but the burger, the meat in the burger is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I've got to say, the staff are amazing. because Everyone who comes through the door, they get a big welcome to it. Welcome to Fat Burgers. It's nice. Really nice and friendly. So I do like that. How's yours going down, Laura? Still all good? Amazing. Absolutely lovely. Perfect. Everything. Perfect amount of salad. It's all on there and it was made just how I wanted it. But the big key factor for me, I've been eating here for two weeks now, mainly the different chips, loved that, but also the temperature of the food, it all came out piping hot. The middle of the burger was so hot and nearly burnt my tongue, which is a very welcome change because there's some places where, you know, the burgers are already nearly cooked and they just quickly toss them and they were piping hot piping hot fresh. Now, next thing to try is gonna be one of the cookies. One of these famous cookies, the nice simple chocolate chip. I'm gonna try them and we'll see if, they're, uh, if they are also worth getting on your little visits of where uh, fat burgers. I know a lot of you are gonna come and try this now. I've gotta say, I agree with the hype, it is very nice. Especially if you want something quick, easy, proper American, you know, proper American greasy burger, isn't it? You know, what you're looking for, proper fast food. Right, let's try these cookies then. Well, this lovely staff member's just come and checked on us and said uh, hello and how's it all going? Right, I love the way the cookies were wrapped like a burger. So here are the three cookies and they're dead soft. Look at this, dead gooey. That's how I like them. Gooey, not snappable. Right, let's give one of these a try. Okay, time to try some of this gooey cookie then. Plenty of chocolate chip in it as well. Mm. Nice. Now, unfortunately, these aren't gluten free, so Laura can't have any, but they are absolutely stunning. Look at it, just proper gooey cookie, that. It just snaps in your hand. Mm. Very similar texture to the Subway cookies, if you've ever had them before. Nice, I like it. I like the way. They haven't overcomplicated the menu. They've kept the menu nice and simple. There are the burgers, there's the cookie, that's it. And I love how the burgers come with like a different salad as standard. Yeah, it's, it's it's really, really simple. In some locations, I believe they do hot dogs as well, but that is stunning, that cookie. Mm. I'm glad I got three now. <laughs> well, there we go then. That was Fat Burgers. Now, what the lovely lady, Anne-Marie, if you're watching, uh, lovely, lovely lady. I just asked her a couple of questions. How long have you been open since? They opened on the 22nd. The first week was crazy busy. They've got a massive opening event, uh, opening uh, day, big grand opening on Saturday. So that's the Saturday coming up. I believe that's the 2nd of March. Yep. So that's coming up. So if you are here in Orlando, as she said, the first 100 people are going to get free burgers. There's going to be a DJ on. There's going to be all kinds of influencers going and all kinds. So saturday big opening event here for fat burgers i'm glad we got in before that the food was stunning and uh, what she was said the main thing i loved was how hot 
temperature wise the food and the burgers were she said that's because we don't have frozen burgers the burgers are not frozen they're fresh they come straight out straight onto the grill and that's how they get really nice and hot dead soft as well so there you go no frozen burgers in here just straight on the grill and let me the temperature wise makes a big difference to the taste i think as well it does because the cheese if it's not melted it's not as nice as the cheese does need to be melted yeah we do find that if it's yeah. not melted it's not quite as nice you want it all nice and gooey don't you that american yeah. cheddar cheese uh, there is another big famous burger joint where i've had many of them and you know you could take the cheese off and fling it like a frisbee uh, it's really not hot or melted at all so that was a lovely change the bread was stunning loved the fat fries it was gorgeous for us to have uh, some proper english style yeah. chips uh, so if you want to try them definitely go for them if you're coming have something different so you can get fries anyway you can't get those chunky style chips as we call them um everywhere so definitely if you're going to come get those cookies are gorgeous i've got two of those to take away your milkshake was good amazing yeah you know i love a chocolate milkshake it is amazing so we definitely come back uh, i hope you did enjoy that quick little review if you are interested in orlando kissimmee the parks or the restaurants uh universal etc we have done a full series on the channel and we've got loads of florida vlogs including going down to the keys and stuff so do check out our other videos from here uh, do please hit the thumbs up let me know in the comments have you been to fat burgers if you haven't are you going to come and also where else is the best place to get a burger here in Kissimmee or Orlando? I want to know because I want to check out another burger. So where is the best place to get one? Let me know down in the comments. But thank you very much for watching. And as I like to say on this channel, stride on. Bye guys.